Anytime that you can empower people to do better and feel better and grow, I'm good with that. Um, hero, no, no. The only thing that I want to look up to me is cancer. I want cancer to look up to me because I beat it. I don't want to beat anybody else. I'm no better than anybody else. I'm no stronger, I'm no bigger, I'm no prouder. But I want cancer to fall to its knees. My name is Kathy Graff, and I'm a patient at the John Thur Cancer Center. When I turned 46, I found a small pea right on my bathing suit line, went to a doctor, they kind of blew me off, told me it was nothing, went to another doctor, they thought it was nothing, had it biopsied, and that's the day, March 9th of 2004, that everything changed. I was diagnosed with a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that was incurable and was told at the time that maybe I'd be lucky to get two years. I said to her, you know, I need your help. Who do I get treated by? Where do I go? She said, if I had what you had, it would be the John Thur Cancer Center. And the thing that was different from all my other consults is that they shot me a look like, you gotta be kidding me, you're not going anywhere. You're gonna be fine, we're gonna beat this and everything's gonna be good had probably over 200 treatments and nothing worked. They just kept finding another road and I was just a passenger. And finally, it was in September of 2011 when I was still teaching and coaching and competing. I did um, four Ironman during all that time. They said, you know, uh, your bone marrow is beginning to compromise and unless we do a transplant, you're not gonna make it. I remember calling him and saying, find me a donor, you know, let's do it. I didn't meet Dr. Donato until I was about as sick as I could possibly be. It was good for me to know that you were an athlete and you were a triathlete because not only were you physically fit, but you were mentally fit. I would say the mental aspect of it, the resilience of training and the road mm -hmm. is what's hardest. Yeah. You could just see that she knew exactly what she was going to do, how she was going to do it, and in the end, it led me to a bone marrow transplant. By this point, Cancer and I had had a lot of talks. Oh, good boy, Billy. He's feeling like and I was being beaten up for so many years, and I wasn't going down. It just wasn't. Healing is, is really is a, is a journey. You don't go from being sick to being well. The process of being well it is a very long process. Mm -hmm. The greatest gift is for Kathy to be happy and healthy and productive and everything she's now doing in her life. I humbly say that I'm very, very proud of myself because it was a really difficult journey. And I, I now really believe and know what I'm made of. And that's a, it's a gift that you're given when you've gotten a diagnosis of cancer. Hear me, cancer. I remember clearly the voices of many around me would almost whisper the word cancer as if it may hear you and find you. Cancer, you have defined my suffering. This has not come without a blessing, one which has provided an empowerment of belief, steadfastness, humility, and gentleness to appreciate the strife of others. You have taught me well, and now we must part forever. I couldn't be more grateful. I am so glad I did it here.